Hi, I'm Jeff from jeffjitsu.com. That's Peter. And today I want to talk about guillotine, and I'm going to talk about three kinds of guillotine, okay? And um, I'll do defense, but maybe I'll do that in another video. Okay, so guillotine typically happens when someone's trying to tackle you, but they're doing it in a really poor way, right? They bend at the waist, and then they run at you like they're trying to catch a chicken. You know what I mean? Shooting on a guy should not look like you're trying to catch a chicken. We'll do shooting another day, but suffice to say it shouldn't look like this. Because ah! then, boom, guillotine time, okay? Now, many people guillotine by, they catch the head in the triangle here, see the triangle, there it is, and then they just raise the forearm and push their hips forward, and that's all well and good when you're guillotining, you know, idiots that don't know how to defend guillotines or, you know, don't have any jujitsu in them. Here, I'll do it to Peter. So he runs at me like a lunatic, right? I catch him in the thing, and then I grab my own wrist, and I push my hips forward, and then I raise the, you know, and then he has to tap, right? The guillotine, it's taking his head off, all right? Um, <clears throat> that's okay, but the thing about it is, if you notice, as I'm raising the forearm, I can't make this triangle completely disappear. See, I can only get it to there, and that's a very small triangle. You know what I mean? So if I'm choking someone with a very small neck, it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna work, right? So how do I make this triangle completely disappear? I do that not by pulling up, but by rocking the baby. Rock a bye, baby, right? This way, and I lower my armpit while pulling up in this direction. Kind of like, uh, was it Randy Macho Man Savage? Ooh, or maybe it was Hulk Hogan. I want to go, ooh, yeah! You know what I mean? It was a pro wrestler of some kind. My point is, you lower the armpit and you bring the bicep inwards and it's like you're rocking a baby, like so. All right? And then if I do it to him, you're going, shoot him. Oh, I catch him and then I lower my shoulder and bring this up. Okay? You follow me? That's the second kind of guillotine. Now the third kind of guillotine, okay, I mean, you probably saw John Jones do it to Leo Tomachita. When I think of it, I think about Ebenezer Fontes Braga doing it to Jeremy Horn in UFC like eight, which was in Brazil. Okay? And now with this one, it's the same idea, but now you're also using the concept of the wall. Right? And it's interesting to note that many martial arts are stand-up martial arts. And many martial arts focus on, like, not many, jiu-jitsu focuses what's going on on the ground. But then there's also things on this planet called the wall, right? And that changes stuff. And here's one fine example. Okay, so let's say Peter shoots on me, I stop him, right? So I'm just making sure he's not going to, you know, tackle me to the ground. And then I put him in the guillotine, and then there's the wall. I put his butt into the wall, and then I lower my armpit, I raise my elbow, and I push him into the wall, okay? So there's three kinds of guillotines for you. I'll do the defense in another video. If you have any questions, just send me an email. I'm Jeff from jeffjitsu.com.